Absolutely. It's one of the most dynamic and growing markets uh, driven by a uh, growing population, affluent uh, workforce and uh, investments in infrastructure. And so what are we talking about uh, in terms of earnings? What sort of mix have you got uh, from EM and then from the developed side of things? Well, I mean, our, our business is about a $5 billion business, and uh, most of that is based out of uh, the emerging markets. Uh, and we've seen over the past few years uh, dynamic growth in those markets. Even, even in a situation where the world trade is lower, uh, we do see continued growth, although at a lower, uh, slower pace, but still uh, robust growth. But of course you've been uh, getting away from most, uh, well, U.S. defense deals and trying to diversify away from them. How's that all going and how's business going in light of that? Well, our, our business has uh, uh, developed very nicely. I mean, as of today, we're a $5 billion business that's based on purely commercial uh, logistics uh, operation around the world. And uh, as we've seen in our reported results, uh, our, uh, we've been able to uh, successfully uh, navigate uh, various uh, economic challenges around the world. Well, of course, you, uh, you I think, uh, were taken into court on allegations that you overcharged the American military on a contract a few years ago supplying food uh, to uh, troops in Kuwait and Iraq. How's that case panned out? Well, it, it, it's still it's still ongoing, uh, and we, as we've reported, it's still in process. However, our focus today is, remains on developing our commercial logistics, uh, which is what we've been successful in doing over the past uh, few years, and in particular by focusing our business on the emerging markets, where uh, we see significant amount of uh, growth and investment in infrastructure that allows us to serve our customers, who are in particular. Uh, themselves looking for growth opportunities, especially as the more European and Western markets are more, more maturing. So our focus has been in, in pursuing those opportunities and in, sol in solving some of the logistical cha challenges in, in these emerging markets, which we do see you know, different uh, environments and different challenges that one must overcome. And that's an exciting challenge for us to work through. Well, absolutely, a lot of challenges out there. But, I mean, logistics is one of those uh, uh, bits of uh, the jigsaw puzzle of the economy which can tell us if things are picking up. Are you seeing signs of a pickup in the United States or Europe at the moment, for instance? Actually, we, we are. In the U.S., we do see uh, signs of pickup. Uh, our business, uh, evidenced by our customers' uh, volumes, is growing in, in the U.S. Having said that, it's... Um, growing at, at a much slower pace than, than what we, we're used to. Um, but nevertheless, I think uh, I am optimistic and hopeful that we see this uh, growth in the U.S. continue to sustain itself. Uh, in Europe, however, it is still challenging and remains challenging, but probably less challenging than it was in the past few years. So I am optimistic and hopeful. Uh, and as we project our, our uh, plans for the next for for the remaining part of this year and next year, I'm I'm quite excited uh, because as as I said earlier, there's it's another challenge to solve for uh, in ensuring we continue to add value to our customers in an environment where growth is tempered. So our our problem, our challenge with our customers is really to focus on um, uh, optimizing their supply chain and finding ways to be more efficient and effective uh, in their various markets. Let's talk a little bit about China. How are things uh, working out for you over there? What areas do you need to make a, an improvement on there? And uh, give us an idea of how you're developing. Well, our, our business in China has grown substantially, uh, initially through uh, our own organic development in that, that market. Then we, supply, we augmented our capabilities uh, with some acquisitions to really give us an end-to-end -end service offering. From, from the ability to move cargo in internationally, internationally and, and, ver and offering various domestic services. Um, China is, is a critical market for us, for many of our customers who either source there or manufacture there, or in some cases, in, in some of our oil and gas customers, actually distribute into China. So it gives us a nice portfolio that allow, has allowed us to 
uh, continue to see growth in that market uh, over, the, over the past few years. So we're quite excited, quite excited with opportunities in China.